Hello and welcome to Be Open at Chicagoland Speedway. Oh my god, not a super speedway. Can you believe it? I found one. <laughs> um, you may have noticed on the screen there for a second, I think potentially the restart zones might have been implemented. Which is very, very cool. I hope that is the case. I'm not sure if that's just a little rule pop-up that's in preparation of when they implement it. Or if you are required to restart within the restart zone now, but uh, I hope it is the latter because I do think that it'll be a, a cool addition, a very nice addition to iRacing using the restart zone. You can see it down there, Geico restart zone down there. Might give us a more realistic. Experience. Um, now I'm doing some qualifying. I don't know if I'm all that fast. I probably am not. I feel like I could have gotten some more practice. Kind of just doing an easier lap right here. I'm thinking I probably don't have very good short run speed. Push a little bit harder this lap, but I'm thinking this might be more of a long run setup. Uh, there were three, count them, three OSR setups available. And I'm like, oh, I really don't have the time to try all of these, so I just went with the setup that was set for the coldest temperature, because theoretically, that'll be set up for our setup to be looser, right? Because um, if it ends up being hotter than temperature it's meant for then hotter track means looser track right so theoretically looser setup is it that way in practice probably not okay. but uh, without any other information that is uh, the way I'm gonna have to approach it practice pit stop it's fine could do that a little bit better but wow we're dirt slow that number seven did a 29 in practice so I'm probably way off pace. Yeah, we're one of the slowest qualifiers. But I I'm just hoping that we can have good long runs. Maybe we can make our way forward over time. I don't know. Maybe the other setups are better. Maybe this one's not good. I have no idea yet. But we got a nice big field of 28. Pretty strong field of 3.5, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll be a good one. What is the actual temperature here? 102, which so is much hotter. So maybe the setup's not going to be very good because it's <laughs> we're not going to be uh, at the right running temperature. But oh well. So here's this thing I saw, the start zone rule. We've got like a little ex explainer, kind of like they have the rule tab on some road course races, telling you, you know, the ground rules for where you can go off track a little bit and where they're going to be strict and all that stuff. Here we have one that's explaining the start zone rule. Like I said, very interesting. Goes over stuff that probably most of us already know but just saying that uh, you have to start between these lines. So that's pretty cool. We're definitely not gonna be the one starting this race down in 19th at the moment. But if we ever find ourselves out there, well, we better follow the darn rules, huh? Pretty cool, so get out there. I haven't heard anyone talk about it yet. I didn't know that this was a thing. Maybe I need to catch up on some videos. <laughs> some like the latest stuff from Nick or Gavin or anybody that maybe they've seen this already and haven't mentioned it or have mentioned it and I just haven't seen it. So we end up P19. So a very not spectacular Q attempt. 
I'm thinking maybe the high line wasn't the way to do it. Maybe you can like find a way to get stable running the lower line. I'm kind of going in pretty blind here. But that's okay. Keeps it interesting. We'll try to get on the right rear. Maybe not so much. It looks like it's wearing out the right rear pretty good. I imagine this will switch over as the run goes on and it'll start getting on the right front more. But the right rear doesn't seem like it's too neglected. <laughs> but we'll just uh, we'll take it easy. Maybe there'll be some wrecks and we'll be back far enough to avoid them. And just take a nice patient approach to this race. And, uh, you know, got 90 laps. Hopefully we get lots of green running, but we'll see. I think this is going to be a race where if I uh, gain much, it'll be during a long run rather than a short run. If I gain anything at all. <laughs> Could just start losing and never gain anything back. We'll see. Like I said, going in blind. Not really knowing what to expect here, but I am just glad we are not at a super speedway. Follow car number 26 in the inside lane. Be interesting to see if the leader does use the restart zone. And if maybe they don't, like, ooh, are we going to start handing out black flags now if you start at the wrong time, right? I don't know how they would implement that. Like, what decides if someone is speeding up or not? That's a good question. Like, what is there? Maybe there's a threshold, like, uh, on pit road, like, you can't be this much over a number and if you are before this line I don't know I don't know how they uh, are gonna go about doing it maybe it's a thing where it's just a sporting code thing like if you jump before the restart line then people can protest you I don't know I know nothing I feel like I've said I don't know a hundred thousand times already this video but that's because it's true this noggin of mine is empty when it comes to this information <laughs> And a lot of information, but that's not important. What's important now is we are about to get started, and I think it's a second gear start. And if it's not, I think second gear should suffice, because we are uh, taking that patient approach. Let's do it. Can't see a darn thing. Didn't need to. <laughs> Went on being. Right. Expect it to be pretty Go loose ahead. here, so I'm going to be pretty careful. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear up the top. All right. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Patience. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. No one taking the apron. I did not expect that. Alright, I won't next time. <laughs> I just expected everybody was going to be doing that, so I figured I would have to follow in line, but then nobody did it. And I don't want to have to decide, I want to commit to one or the other, so... He's into the corner. That right rear. No raping for us this time. Uh oh. Okay. We are safe. Oh! Holy oh, smokes, that guy scared me. <laughs> Appeared out of nowhere. The guy on my left there. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay. That was close. Okay, that got the heart pumping, but we are just fine. You are a wreck waiting for happen. Somebody was a wreck that did happen. Not sure who that guy's talking about. That's more up front, I think, maybe. I don't know where they are. Don't see any reason to come in. 
So we won't. I could go to the back. I don't know if I really want to do that. Don't think topping off is going to do us much good. Topping off on fuel. Hey yeah, guys, arguing already in text chat. The road is closed. We're under caution. It's closed. So hopefully not too many more of these. Uh, that was just like a, like one car wreck really. Collected a guy or two, but I can't lift for you when I'm digging the top above you. What does that mean? It wouldn't make sense to need to lift for him if he's in a land above. But... Yeah, you got caught there. Okay, never mind. Have a nice race. You did everything right from the very start, and no one avoided you. Is that the guy that wrecked? Hell yeah, that guy's uh, in pits. I don't know what happened. We'll see later, I guess. Or maybe you saw it because you were paying attention. <laughs> I mean, I just I saw people wrecking, and I was slowing down. I was really worried about. Who was at fault for it? <laughs> Not the most immediate concern at the moment. I was looking uh, every direction, so. Now we're dropping uh, words in chat. He's gonna get himself chat banned. But hey, like he said, how is that my problem? <laughs> Turn right into the wall and we started pushing so you didn't have to lift. It really didn't take very many laps for guys to get mad at each other. We've got a lot more to do. So we're starting P16 this time. Haven't really gone much at all yet. I expect the series might have a lot of participation this week from guys that uh, don't want to be doing iRacing Super Speedway. I don't know where uh, the Cup Series is, actually. I don't think I paid attention. I think it's Kansas, isn't it? I keep saying I want to give the next gen another try. I haven't done that in forever. Like, forever. Like, <laughs> last time I did it was before they changed, like, the package and everything. Get ready. Going green. I just have had little interest. I, I enjoy the uh, Xfinity and the trucks enough. I have enough things to race that I don't always get to race the stuff I like already. And everybody's sleeping on that start. Yeah, top three wide for some reason. Why is this guy going below me? What's going on? I don't really want to be here, but I am. Alright, I just wanted to get away from whatever three wide situation or whatever was going on there. Trying to get some uh, rotation on exit. Really help this thing feel pretty good. Probably overdriving it. Okay, you can't do both. So I'm going to the apron, so I'm like, okay, I guess I can go down to the bottom, and then, nope. He just changed his mind. This guy's sketchy. A little bit. Or um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just on edge. <laughs> probably. It's probably that one. It's usually that one. I'm just on edge. He's probably just fine. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Just keep hitting your mark. 
that lap was at 31.4. We're so good though, we moved forward a little bit. I really, uh, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to be kind of nice to the car, but I'm probably just not. I'm probably not doing that. So that's a little weird. It feels pretty strangely bouncy. Is that a thing? Is that is that good feedback? We're just going to get tight, even though... My uh, thought process for choosing this specific setup was that hoping it would be loose. To be honest, I really don't know what it's going to do. Isn't that just part of the fun? Water temperature... Water temperature is creeping up, he says. I'll keep an eye on it, but usually uh, not a big deal whenever the crew chief says something. It's when the spotter starts saying something that you got problems. But we'll keep it down there, just for informational purposes. I imagine we're only going to get slower as the run goes on, though. More off-throttle time, less heat, more okie-dokie then. He's going to pass us on the outside, I guess. Going ahead. Like I said I'm not really trying all that hard at the moment. I'm trying to do long run stuff. Inside. Car just still feels kind of weird. Still haven't really formed an opinion on the setup yet. We'll see how it turns out. Water temperature getting up to about 250 under the straightaway. Not too bad. Should get it even higher though at the end of uh, front stretch. I didn't get to look because that blue car was doing something weird. But it looks like it was just maybe a little bit above 250. Very close racing. This is a little scary. Is this guy like getting high engine temps or something? It, it seems like he's getting slow at the end of the straightaway. It's like he's trying to uh, be nice to the temps or something. That's kind of strange. See, look, he, it looks like he loses so much momentum at the end of the straightaway. It's kind of weird. Having fun though so far. I do like Chicago Land a lot as a fan of intermediate tracks. Oh wow, you're a little faster than he was on entry. Probably means I'm overdriving it. I haven't really felt the need to use any brakes, but that was full lift off and I was gaining on him on entry. Maybe I should be using brakes, I don't know. Tabasco's gonna take the apron. Oh my god, see, look! What is he doing? Why is he letting off at the end of the straightaway? Well, maybe Ryko made his gearing. Too short or whatever. <laughs> nice sliding. Uh, or is he? I don't know. Maybe he's not. Looked like he was sliding for a second, but it might have been on tra tire tracks already on the on the track. It's getting tight. I don't want the car to be tight. I specifically asked for a loose setup, darn it. <laughs> it's okay.
Alright, that was loose. I don't know what this car's trying to do. That guy's trying to spin it on the in front. Don't like how tight the car is. We'll use a little bit of brake then, fine. That gets too loose, like, I don't know if I like this setup. I'm not feeling so hot about it right now. These guys are like going down the apron and then not even gaining much and looking like they barely, barely can hold on to their cars, so I'm not so sure about all that. Feels like it gets bound up so much on entry. Hmm. I like that we're getting a longer run though here. We're seeing the handling come into play just a bit. I don't know why this guy is still going slow on the end of the straightaway. It's really messing with me though. It's making me scared. All of a sudden he starts coming back to me. I don't expect him to. No idea what the tires are going to end up looking like after this run. Because it feels both tight and loose. Take the high side here, the guy below. Clear. Need that guy not to do his straightaway thing when I'm right behind him if possible. Or he's getting very loose on exit now. It's, rem it's reminding me of the Silver Crown race getting really loose on exit, wanting to snap. Bobby, that was, oh, that coach, swear to God. Sorry, I'll let you go, man. You're fast. Yo, what happened there? We're right, having some fun, though. It's, uh... It was all net code, honest to God. We were side by side, and all of a sudden the car just glitched right into the It was 100%. Uh oh. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. Check out, check out, check out. Car inside. Wrecking, wrecking, check out, wrecking, 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 wrecking. Wreck 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 no caution, I gotta go. Can you not drive straight or something? Yikes. That was insanely close. Good job saving it, though. Both of you. What? We survived whatever that was. Now the Hines running a higher line. He's probably going to get a huge run here. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, I don't want to go side by side with him though. I'm gonna let him go. I want to try the high line a little bit. I kind of liked how that looked, but all right. I'm not trying to, but you can't do a slide job and lose a whole bunch of time either. Like, hurry up. That guy blew a motor. Is that the guy that was going slow in the end of the straightaway? He just alt F Ford, I think. Not sure what happened there. 
Well, this has uh, definitely got shaken up a little bit. Our temperatures are fine, on the other hand. So I think I can put this away. I think I'm going to continue running the bottom in 3 and 4, though, because there's a huge bump at the top of 3 and 4 that I just don't want to deal with, to be frank. I think that guy just dealt with, maybe. He gets the run off, but it seemed like he was slower through the corner. Doing okay, P9. I'm okay with that. Getting sideways a little bit, that's okay. It's taking the apron behind. They're eager to try to get up and around me, I guess. Get real close to the wall, that was fun. Real close to the wall for me, I know some guys can go like half a centimeter away from the wall and be just perfectly calm and happy. That's not me. I like running the high yeah, side, but I'm not that confident. Kind of got the shit here. It's a setup. I like running the high line, though. I do like the high line. That is a pretty fun line to take there in one and two. Seems okay. Pretty fast. Real loose down there, bottom of three and four. Probably good for the long term speed though to get it on the right rear, so I think I'm gonna keep on doing it. Hit, having a good time. Good old 1.5 racing. Get two sideways there, though. That lost me a little bit of time. Cutting together that up. Okay, Colton. Come touch pretty consistent. Inside. D9. Clear. That guy's getting real close. A little too close for comfort. Try not to let it get so sideways there. Go ahead, Bruno. He either killed my car or my car is on. You get damage from that? Yes. Someone said just in the door, but it feels slower. Make me nervous. I swear the long way is far enough. Seems like they're down a little bit on straightaway. Corner still looks good. Better that lap than last lap. This guy keeps jump like diving it in into turn one. It's really making me uncomfortable. Whatever lane he's doing though, I think it's faster. Maybe I can learn something. I don't know. Feels like some multi-groove action here, I like it. I can't decide which line I like the most. 
I'm gonna go back and try the bottom one and two now, see how it's feeling. Not good. Felt like a slide job, even though I wasn't trying to do it. And uh, didn't get the run off the corner, so not a huge fan of it. I'm gonna do probably something bad. Try a high line in three and four. Yeah, I don't know about that. We get the run off, but just through the corner, it just was much slower. So I'm thinking I'm going to stick with what I was doing. High line in one and two, and then low three and four. Seems to be working just fine. Use a little bit of counter steer to keep the throttle in it. Don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall, I said. I said don't. And did you listen? No. <laughs> no, I'm done, thankfully. Tires might be going away a little bit. The guy behind's falling off a little bit. I like that. Now, that's not even the guy behind anymore. We got a new guy behind. Twenty one was the twenty was the one behind me before. You've just done a thirty-three point zero. When do I pit? We had a caution like lap five, so maybe lap like fifty? Maybe like forty eight maybe. Do a little bit of an undercut. That was oh my god, why did he enter so soft? I almost ran in the back of him. That lost me a whole tenth. Yikes, dude. Must be getting tight or something. Oh my, I need to take care of your tires. I wonder where they're at right now. I feel like I lost so much momentum whenever that guy, like... Made me hit the brakes hard. Really would have preferred to be high line one, too. Should get the runoff there and get clear of us. And we could be in a preferred line here. Gotta get really tight up there, I think. I have to take a high line here. Looking forward to it, really. Still there. Wasn't so bad. Wasn't very fast, but it wasn't so bad. Fortunately, we're out here again. I do not like this big wad of cars we're in. Feels like a powder keg ready to blow. Three wide, just what I love to hear. We're getting past. Just feel like I'm in the wrong positioning. I don't even feel like I'm much slower. I just I'm not positioned in the right spots. That's good consistency. Keep it up. 
oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just getting a little loose here. This guy's gonna get a really bad exit right in front of me. I live for him, that sucks. Mm, and they're running into each other. Don't run into me. Excuse me. My nose is here. Thank you. Team Andrew's at a really weird angle. I don't really want to pit now because it feels like everybody's in a wreck. Never mind. Wait, one of these guys is a lap car? Are you kidding me? Get out of here, dude. I thought we were all fighting hard for position. There's some random lap dude in here? Get out of here. That's annoying. 21, I guess. Not sure why he feels the need to be up in our business, but okay. Heading this time. Outside. Clear outside. If the guy saying pitting this time was that guy. Gosh, there's so many things to pay attention to. Do I want to go long? I might want to go long. I just feel like guys are going to wreck. Plus, I'm kind of like stuck on the outside of this guy right now. Huge run on him there. Pretty exciting racing. For sure. I don't know, I feel like going long might be okay, like... Let me just look at our session last lap right here. Two tenths over. New tires coming up. Might just have to run this uh, until the fuel runs out. Like, we're still getting green on our session last lap. I don't know. Kind of feeling okay. Is that a mistake? Maybe. I don't know. That got pretty loose. We'll see. We'll see how the time, the lap times shake out here. Uh, that was pretty slow comparatively. Pitting in here. Six pitting in. Hitting this time. Down, slow, down, slow, down. Pretty good, pretty decent. Chicago Land's pretty hard to get on a pit road, so I'm okay with that. Three, two, one, one. Right here. Little slow on the stop, but optional. Oh, that's from the. <laughs> 2729. Oh. If you don't say. <laughs> 2729. I might have just named the freaking video that. That's insane. That or whatever I'm about to get this last round, but it should be not as bad. This could be a shorter run overall. 
process is now delayed. The lead is bidding now. Everyone's probably going to be pitting here very soon, so I don't expect. I have a fast car coming up. I have to be careful. I have to be careful. I have to continue being careful. All right, we'll see how this shakes out. I uh, stayed out longer than a lot of a lot of people. I think I had a good stop. Fourteen. Uh, I only had eleven seconds. All alone. I think I will be cutting the apron. I like it. I like doing that. That a tire wear. Oh, wow. 26 just hit the wall hard. It's continuing to hit the wall. He went back for more. He wanted seconds. That's not going to be good for his speed. Water temperature is getting ugly for a minute. That's going to go away pretty quick, though. Not concerned. Try to get that rotation if I can. I'm not so sure. This would be possible. I don't know if everybody's getting these sorts of tire wear. 27, 29. But I, I guess at least my right rear was only 2%. Higher than the right front. I guess that's good. I don't know. I mean, if everyone else is getting like 60, 60 something, then I'm gonna feel <laughs> kind of funny about that. But, huh? <laughs> that's really funny. I definitely did not expect that. All I, uh, I can say that for certain. Clear high. Yeah, that's the rotation I like. We'll see if we catch any guys before the end of this one, but feeling pretty good. 11th place. A lot of race to go. Fresher tires than a lot of guys. Let's see, lap 55 is when I pit. Guy heads, not part of any race, even though he wanted to be earlier. Uh, 46, lap 46 to the guy, the next guy for position. So we should be, yeah, we're catching up to him fast. So we are looking top 10 here pretty soon. Guy behind me only one lap fresher tires, so I don't think he will be coming up on us crazy fast, but he could make some progress on us. Anyone not even really going to the wall there, scaring me a little bit. Oh yeah, we're flying compared to this guy. Which line you taking? Okay. Takes the low line every time, and then when I get to him, he's high line. I'm sure he was trying to get out of the line, but I was expecting him to do this the same thing he did every lap, but okay. Well, lost some time there. It shouldn't be so bad, I don't think. Alright, who we got next? Up there, I will check when we get to the straight. Oh man, look at all that time we lost from doing that. Lost two tenths in the corner, and then lost some momentum. That will lose us another tenth down the uh, straightaway. That sucks. Uh, guy had another lap 46er, so we should be catching them as well. Will we catch him as fast? I don't know. But we do have a lot of time to do so. so. We will see. 
I usually go for the undercut option, so going a little bit later is pretty interesting. It felt, I just felt like we weren't really losing much more lap time at the, at the moment. We were uh, still getting lots of green for a while, so didn't feel like we needed to rush into the pits too quick. So, P10, that's good. If we can finish in the top 10, I will be very happy. Very strong field, and only the, uh, I am the 6, so not too much more expected out of me by I rating. Man, that's really hot in here. <laughs> I'm, like, sweating, and I'm, like, thinking, man, like, this race is intense, but is it really that intense? And then I realize, oh, it's, like, 110 degrees in here. Kind of like on the track. Gaining on the car ahead. I think we should be able to get around him before this one's over. Probably not even that long from now. The car's getting a little bit tighter. Don't know, maybe this 12 will be able to overtake me with his one lap fresher tires, but he might also just save tires better than me. So I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. Probably not. Starting to get that loose on exit feeling again. I imagine the tires are feeling some sort of pressure or heat or wear, whatever word I'm trying to think of. I tried to say a word other than wear, then I realized like it's the most accurate way to describe what I'm trying to say. I wonder if maybe this 12 is actually faster than me, but not so much so that he feels the need to get around. He might be being patient, and if that's the case, I come on, yell. I uh, applaud him for a uh, smart approach. Not sure if that's what's going on or not. I keep going down here because I can. Didn't want to do it earlier with so many cars around, but if I have uh, the space, I feel comfortable enough doing that. It's getting really loose down there, though, so I think I probably will stop. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is this guy a car hanging on high. hard. Gonna waste all our time. Stay low. Maybe I have to get around him quick. I don't want to slide job. I hate doing that. I always feel like I'm gonna mess it up, and I probably will. So, gonna go ahead and power it on exit, though. Get around him. And do this probably one last time. Just to get that little extra bit of distance. And I'm probably done cutting the apron for the rest of this race. Assuming we go green. So now the uh, 12 who was pursuing me, he can spend some time trying to get by that guy. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a gap. I understand it. He's, uh, it's four position. I just did the apron again without thinking. <laughs> I really do want to stop though because I don't know if that's going to do me any good. I feel like uh, diminishing returns as the car gets uh, harder to handle. And uh, I don't need to be taking that risk for such a little gain. Let's see how much slower it is. So, 
I almost want to say it's faster to not take it at this point. It's pretty even. Man, loose on exit. I might have to migrate to the top again. Guy head is on four lap older tires. Not sure how much, if at all, we are catching him. 2.9 at the line for now. I'm going to migrate to the top now. Damn, Jacob, you were right down there right from the top Is that 21? Oh my god, it won't stop sliding. Jesus. That got really loose up there. Yeah, that 21 has been racing everybody way too hard for being a lap down. I didn't even realize he was a lap down because I just assumed we were fighting hard for position, but he was just completely meddling in our affairs for no reason. I'm going to not get used this time, I hope. There we go. We'll see if that's even any faster. I think I'll go back to the bottom next lap. See if uh, that's any faster or slower. This car is really starting to uh, <laughs> give me some issues. Bottom this lap. I like not knowing though. I like uh, having to choose. So, was faster through the corner, but no run off, it looks almost dead equal. Inside. Stay high the car on the low side. Still there. I expect him to get it below me there. He might be going around us. Not a huge deal. Still inside. Gosh, the car is so loose this run. I almost wish I had not worn the right rear at all <laughs> at this point. I don't miss whenever it was 2% less worn than the, uh, the right front. I'm gonna fight this guy hard, I think. We got only about 10 to go. I feel like we're pretty equal on speed. Able to keep that steady enough right there to get a good run off. Clear inside. Can't inside. can just barely clear him though, not enough to actually do anything though. Alright, I'm not gonna cross him over. I don't wanna lose time and end up having the 19 pass this. Are right, very loose. I guess I got what I wished for. <laughs> and the monkey paw curls another finger. That one got a laugh from the audience. <laughs> so, still top 10 though. Even if this guy uh, drives away, still not feeling so bad. Oh, he, got, he lost a whole lot of speed mid-corner there. He might have gotten really tight. Had to lift off a little bit more or something. This is fun, though. This is a lot of a, a, lot of handful to drive. It's not a super speedway, as I keep saying. It's just refreshing going from a super speedway to a place where you actually have to fight a loose car and all that. Got a little bit of that with the Legends race I just did, but you yeah, know, you know what I'm saying. I think I were obsessed with super speedways. How much I talk about them, so I am gonna shut my mouth about it.
<laughs> I want to try to catch him. I'm going to give it my best shot. Oh, who's a 17 coming up? He came out of nowhere, I swear. He's got three lap fresher tires. But I think he's coming up fast because I looked one second, he wasn't there. The next second, I looked and he was. Dang, I don't want to lose the top 10. I was feeling so good about a top 10. Man, he's coming fast. I don't like it. Follow him down here for the graft. <laughs> it's loose down there, though. This guy's gonna pass us. I don't think there's much oh, yeah, I can do about it. We got the outside. I'm almost wondering if I should let him go. Let him try to get around the 12. Five to go. Sure. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Well, I don't think the inside line was the way to go earlier. Really. I don't know, maybe it was. That guy's just faster anyway, like I said, so he's gonna get around no matter what line I take. The car on the play the let him go game, and maybe I could follow him through if they get side by side for any length of time, I don't know. He's gonna get the runoff, he's gonna battle him. I think his 17 is probably gonna get past him pretty easy right here though, unfortunately. I feel like he's just got so much more grip. Dang. You've just done a 33.0. A few more, let us go. <laughs> Gained a lot on mid corner there. Almost too much. Two to go. <laughs> I can't be doing that, man. It's not working anymore. What flag did not? I think running the low line might have worn out my right front a little bit more. It's helping me get a better run off the top. Running the high line one and two. Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like I have enough for him. Greedy. Being greedy. One clock, one more lap. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Good run, Tommy. Drive through it. Good work. Oh, I don't want to do a slayer, but I might. Where's he going to go? Thanks. Uh, I can't believe it. 25 seconds. Uh, not enough. He had a great corner. <laughs> I gave him my best. Whew. Yeah, we lost our top 10. That sucks. Oh well. But it was a great race, so who cares? Yeah, that was great. Good race and good win. Sounded like I was saying good win to him, but <laughs> I meant in a general sense. Although, if you count the race between the two of us, he won. So, if you look at it that way, number one gets the win. As number one cards tend to do sometimes. 19th to 11th. You know what? Given how slow I was for qualifying, 
definitely okay with that. And again, very strong field. I'm running my free setup here from OSR against guys that a lot of times probably have better ones. So yeah, look at that. Rear, more worn that time. But I think I liked the right front being more worn last time. Oddly enough, because it just let you get on the gas a little bit harder on exit. Obviously, you wouldn't want to overdo it and get tight, but I think I did a better job balancing the first run. But, uh, not too bad. It was a lot of fun to drive. And, uh, having fun is more important. I lost six I ratings, but I gained six fun points. <laughs> All right, enough of my stupidity. We're going to watch the incidents now. Shouldn't be too many. We had a great, uh, we had the one caution, right? And then green to the end. Fantastic race. Let me not gloss over that. Okay, so what happened here? Entering turn one side by side. The four drifts up and wrecks the 13 and then blamed him for it, if I remember correctly. Dude, you a wreck waiting to happen. That was definitely the four that did that. Is this one of those famed egos we hear so much about who never make a mistake? He just he slid up the track. He's on the bottom line. He has established he wants to run the bottom line. He gets tight mid corner, I guess, slides up, and it's 13. That's pretty dumb. <sighs> First track was on him, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to say anything about it. Cause they'll never agree they made a mistake, I'm sure. Like, what even was the argument? He just says you're a wreck waiting to happen, even though he is the one that was the wreck. Lifted for you three times in two laps. Yeah, that's really dumb. Where's this guy lift it, needing to lift for him? So this is the start of the race. Okay. Did the 13 just have the... Okay, I see. So he gets loose there on the cold tires, it looks like. Oh no, the 4 had to lift for him. How dare a 4 car have to lift for a 13 car? So he's already doing it too, right here, you can see. Entering low in the mid corner, just not even in the bottom lane, just drifting up. Like if someone were running the middle line right there, he would have drifted up right into him. So 13 gets loose again. Okay, and now, now he has to lift for him, like, oh my god, I mean, he didn't even have to lift for him, he could have taken the apron, probably, gotten his inside, he gets on his inside anyway, so, oh no, you had to lift for him, I guess, and then he just does the thing he did before, gets tight, comes up and hits him, and somehow it's the 13th fault, so, Mr. JD Leg, I don't believe that was your fault, I believe it was the 4 I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, if you disagree with me, but I don't think that was the 13. 18 in the wall. They're going for the lead. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Did it work? Wow, nice job ripping the top there. I thought for sure he was going right into the wall. Even prediction code thought he was, but yeah, he stuck that really well. Sorry, I doubt it. There's more just fake hits. 13 still out there. There's way many laps down, though. Ooh, 14's kind of having to avoid the guy getting tight. Oh, man. 14 blamed this on netcode, but 
He's also not in his lane, entering the corner. Netcode made it much worse, but, I mean, you can see blatantly this is the line here. He's straddling it for some reason on entry. And, uh, yeah, it was netcode, but also too far on the inside, I feel. Like, that was really bad netcode, though, too. Like, wh why it sent him like that, I have no idea. That's right, we lost all this time having to wait for all that, didn't we? I don't know. That, we had to lift for a different crash, I guess. Why are we had to lift for something that didn't end up being a concussion? Didn't we? Is this it? 21. Wow. Oh, this is before he went laps down. This is what caused him to go laps down. See there, the two is in the lane, entering the corner. He is above the line. 21 comes up and gets him, so that one's on the 21. They're bo it's both pretty close. They just gave each other absolutely zero room. And when you give absolutely zero room in online racing, this is what happens. So, gets hooked, crashing. This is the one that slowed us down. Yes, it is. Had to check up for it. I'm in 12th at the time. We do get around a couple guys because we're able to keep more momentum. But we lose a whole bunch of time to get to the guys ahead, and we never got another caution. So, never going to get that back. That explains why these guys were so much faster than me, because, well, they were faster than me. <laughs> they just had to slow down for that wreck. Number three, fake wall hit. Real wall hit. He had the earlier high line run that stuck really well. That one, not so much. Seeing some nothing going on. Pretty much nothing. Nada. Ooh. Looked like that was going to be worse. It looked like it was going to be on, on the outside of the Tabasco car and cause a wreck, but just the wall. Moving right along past some wall hits. Onward we go. Ooh, that's a heavy wall hit. Alright, calm down, Chastain. Basco on the wall. He's the guy we had a great race with at the end. Good racing with him for sure. This is before the pit stops. So he actually uh, ended up overtaking us. And uh, the whole long run all the way to the end. Ooh, it's winning. It's got him right there. So very nice job to him. Ooh, getting real close. Oh yeah, that's where the guy enters really soft. Like I was entering the same way every time. I would hit I would lift right about when the safer barrier starts. That's exactly what I did there. Even used a little bit of brake. Which uh I didn't even do that at all the second run. And then he's just going much slower. I think maybe he had a bump weird or something and it shot him toward the wall and he had to get on the brakes pretty good. I think that's probably what happened. It looks like he gets a little unsettled there entering the corner. You see that little bump. It looks like it sends him to the right a little bit, and he has to get off the get, uh, you know, get on the brakes a little bit to make sure it doesn't shoot him into the wall, and that really uh, messed me up. Thirteen gonna get in the wall, Moving right along. Now what I do? Get loose. Yeah, that sounds like me. Guy, no, no. no, we might be getting some tire stuff going on, showing us some tire wear situations. Thirteen had some more trouble to his race. I think he might have just quit after that. Alright, come on. Well, here's some close racing. Something gonna happen here? No! Let's go, man. I don't know why I'm cheering for people to wreck. I don't want people to wreck, but... 
That's what this part of the video is supposed to be about, so... 27 really misses the liftoff point. Here's your eventual winner, doing winner things, I guess. 6.5 I rating was your highest I rating in this race. 4, I'm doing nothing wrong as usual. 2, getting tight. Wall. Let's go a little bit faster. Some rough pit entries here. I remember we were racing this guy for a while. He ended up a lap down. I guess we almost ended up a lap down, though, to be fair. Six spots behind. So where he ended up. That didn't help. He is reversing on pit road, so that's why we didn't see him again. Alright, let's go. Moving along. Moving along. Uh-oh. This guy just did that from P1. He might have got there from by staying out longer, but... Huh? What? How did he still get third? That not that a penalty? No way, he still got third. Did we have a caution I forgot about? I might be forgetting about a caution. How did he do that? Was he like winning by a lot? That's impressive. I mean, I don't understand why he didn't get a major penalty. Unless he did and he overcame that to get a third place. Which again is even more impressive. Very interesting. Huh. Does he stay there for a penalty? No? How? Man, we got a hacker. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I don't mean that. I'm just joking. This was not a penalty. See that cone right there? I thought you weren't supposed to hit that. Call me crazy. I don't know, that's weird. I guess the officials weren't looking. Lucky for him. My pit ends pretty, uh... Pretty soon here. Kinda wanna see that. Actually, I think I pit in already. Yes, I did. I did last lap. So I just, I just want to view my pit in, see how it looked. I think it might have been a little slow. That's pretty good. I think that was pretty good. I kind of got off the track a little bit early. But I felt like I carried a lot of speed. I only got on the brakes when I needed to. Okay, 50 is the speed limit. That was pretty good. Never went below 48 when hitting the brakes. Yeah, that'll do. I don't know why we keep seeing the three. We're seeing the three a lot. And then there's this guy. Oh, it's we're seeing the three a lot because we already saw it. Duh. It's this guy not getting a penalty. Divine Intervention. Helping him out there. Alright, moving right along. No more wall hits. I don't give a heck about no wall hits. Pardon my French, but I heckin' don't care. <laughs> lap 83, lap 87. These guys are gonna find each other? No. And then these guys are posing for their photo shoot or something, I guess. Bestest pals. Finishing one, two, three, I guess. So, that will do it for my video. We got a P11. Moved forward. So that was pretty, uh... How would I describe it? Pretty wild. 
a little all over the place, but uh, not unmanageable. It'll do for a free setup, so I'll take it. And I'll take an, a P11 as the 6 and a strong field, especially because I felt like I didn't uh, didn't get too much practice and uh, started very slow, P19. So being able to move 48 spots, I will definitely take it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And that'll do it for here at Chicagoland. And be open. I will see you next time. Have a good one.